can't see them. The traffic grapes around these roads too much. No, it's pretty pretty narrow. We've just made it through, I hope, the most narrow part. Here in the Duro. How's it going, driver good? Um, well, we survived so far. And that's a Duro. It's a remarkable place. It's just a remarkably stunning, rugged, rustic, beautiful totally impractical for trucking grapes through. Oh, he's going to let us pass because we're going so fast. Ah, yes. Is it? That's very kind of him. That's very kind. It's your truck, mate. There we are. Back to our normal speeds of... Which is approximately five miles an hour faster than that guy was doing because we're terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so if we, if we go off the side, it's, it's very close, see? There's a the side there. It's very steep, but we're almost at the bottom, so we don't have that far to roll. Yes. Wouldn't be that bad. We're not carrying grapes, so it's. It'd be a terrible waste of grapes. Oh. It's harvest time, and we're visiting the Douro Valley in Portugal. This is the home of port wine, and we're here to see how it's made. The Douro Valley was defined and established as a protected region back in 1756 making it one of the oldest wine appellations in the world. The vineyards are spectacular. Because of the steepness of the slopes, up to 60 degrees gradient, they're commonly terraced. There are approximately 36,000 hectares planted in the Duro. The grape varieties grown here are uniquely Portuguese, and port is usually a blend of several different ones. Over 100 grapes are sanctioned for port production, though only five are really all that widely cultivated and used, and those five, Triga Nacional, Triga Franca, Tintura Rich, Tinta Barroca, and Tintacao. There are many other autochthonous grapes that also make up the complex blend in port wine. Some vintners are working to identify and preserve these historic grapes. Many of the older vineyards will have as many as 40 different varieties all mixed in together, and this is known as a field blend. Grapes arrive in the winery and they're sorted. Any rotten or raisin grapes will be rejected. This is a lagar. It's a shallow fermenter made of concrete or stone that allows the maximum contact between the grape skins and the must. It's specially designed for making port wine. The grapes are pumped into the lagar. It takes quite a while to fill it. And this is where the action starts. When the lagar is full, it's time to tread. This ancient way of making wine is still used for the best quality ports. For making port wine, the fermentation stopped while there's still lots of sugar left in the wine by adding aguardente, a colourless, high strength, neutral grape spirit. This process is known as fortification. Because of this, the skins and the juice are only together for a few days so it's necessary to extract as much from them as quickly as possible. Huge 
human foot is the ideal way of doing this. It extracts without breaking the seeds, which would make the wine bitter. Each evening there are two hours of regimented treading, called the court or the cut. And then there's Liberdad. The music starts and it's a party atmosphere for another two hours. It can get quite rowdy. days of fermentation, the still sweet juice is run off and fortified with a neutral spirit. This is white port. The skins are then shoveled out into a press to remove the rest of the wine. Now we're in Villanova de Gaia, over the river from the center of Porto. The red-roofed port lodges are where port has traditionally been matured and blended for hundreds of years. In the past, port was shipped down river to the lodges in boats known as Rebellosh. Now it comes by road. We are at the working cellars of Taylor's Port Lodge in Gaia. These old casks contain maturing port wine. There are 1,500 casks stored here. Some 20 ports can spend many decades aging. In contrast, vintage ports just spend a couple of years in cask. Yeah. And now it's time to taste the full range of ports from Taylor's, Fonseca and Croft. Port is a unique wine style. It somehow manages to catch the spirit of the Douro, a truly special place in the world of wine. <laughs> 